Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to talk about a quick and easy way to assess COVID risk. And that's by looking at something called the NLR number. So what does NLR stand for? NLR stands for neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio. This is a ratio of these specific cells in the immune system that give us a really good indicator of the progression of COVID and your um, potential of, de of developing severe COVID. So let's dive a little deeper and get an idea of what these numbers really mean. So neutrophils are the main cells of the innate or nonspecific immune response. Lymphocytes are the main cells of the adaptive or specific immune response. Now, what happens when your body encounters something like a virus that's never seen before, let's say, for example, COVID-19? So the body's never seen this before, so initially, it passes through mucous membranes and it passes through the innate or not specific immune response first. So the body's getting a flavor, a taste for what this virus is. It's tasting all the proteins. And then it's passing over that information to the adaptive immune response. And the adaptive immune response, which is made up of T cells and B cells, also called lymphocytes, provide lasting immune memory. So they are very specific to the uh, proteins and uh, antigens um, of this specific virus. And they provide lasting memory against um, the virus. So if your body sees it again the second time, you have antibodies and T cells that are able to very quickly neutralize it and, and not have to go through the whole process all over again. What's happening with COVID is that there is a spiraling of the innate or non-specific immune response, spiraling of inflammation in this initial uh, part of the immune system. And the body is never able to get a handle and get it under control and move it into the adaptive immune response. There's a spiraling of inflammation, there's an increase in neutrophils relative to the lymphocytes. And this is a measure of, of systemic inflammation that's going on with the virus. Hospitals are using the, this NLR ratio to get a good idea of how the disease is progressing, and then your ultimate risk of developing severe disease down the line. So anyone can, can actually d calculate this number on a regular CBC. These numbers are, are very easy, easily accessible on a regular CBC that you would do in any um, blood workup with your doctor. They're not, they're not fancy numbers. So all you would actually be looking for are something called absolute neutrophils sometimes called polys on some labs but absolute neutrophils and um, this number is usually expressed in the thousands so it would be like for example in this example let's say 3,563 and in some labs I should write this as a base 10 so they would do 3.5 times 10 to the E3, uh, which is the exact same thing. And then you need to look at your absolute lymphocytes, which are also written in the thousands. The total number um, in that blood count would be 1,539, let's say, for example, in this example that I'm looking at, um, or 1.5 times 10 to the E3. So these are numbers that you want to find. And what you're going to do is you're just going to divide the absolute neutrophils. You're going to divide that by absolute lymphocytes. You're going to get a number. In this case, we get 2.3. Now, what we know from studies and hospitals looking at developing COVID risk is that if your NLR ratio is between zero and 2.9,
you are at a very low risk of developing severe COVID. If the number is between 2.9 and 4.9, you are at an intermediate risk. And if the number is greater than 4.9, you're at a very high risk of developing severe COVID uh, complications um, when you're exposed to the virus. So this gives us a really quick and easy assessment. You can do this at baseline to see if there's any baseline inflammation going on in the person. And a lot of people ha do have a lot of inflammation going on in their bodies. And so this will give you a really good assessment of that. Um, is by no means the only uh, number to look at when you're when you're looking at um, uh, COVID risk assessment. You could you know look at vitamin D status, blood glucose, other markers of inflammation, IL six, uh, ESR, CRP. There are a lot of different numbers, but those are separate tests um, that you need to be ordering. Whereas a CBC has these numbers in it and is a very easy way to look at the NLR ratio. And there are a lot of studies actually on NLR ratios being really predictive in uh, understanding uh, other inflammatory conditions, chronic disease, um, kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, even some cancers. This number it be, has been studied and is being researched now as to be really, really valuable. So I hope that was uh, helpful and I hope that you can find your last CBC and just give a quick analysis uh, as something to talk about with your doctor um, and give you a little bit more understanding um, about your COVID risk. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really uh, helps to spread the video to more, more eyes. The YouTube robots like to see like, comments, and subscribes, and they bump up the videos so that more people can see it. So please do that when you get a chance. Thank you so much.